Hey guys, it's Paula. Today we are going to be opening my Sephora Play box bag. I threw away the box. I just have the bag now. I said this in my Ipsy video, but again, sorry these videos are a little bit late. I got my packages late, so the video is coming late. It all works out that way, right? Anyways, this is the A Change of Face bag. I really like this. It's like this pink satin bag. I never actually find a use for these bags, but maybe like when the holidays roll around I can use these to package some gifts, something of that sort, because I have way too many. Way too many. As you guys know, if you watch my Sephora Play videos regularly, normally there's a perfume sample in here, and I like to spray that on at the beginning of the video and then tell you at the end of the video how I like the scent. But this month, there's not a perfume sample, and I'm really mad about it. There are still five regular samples, like five products that you get, but then the sixth bonus sample are these uh, shampoo and conditioner samples. They're by the brand IGK, and I have heard a lot about this brand. They're the ones with like the really cool packaging, like the marble looking printed dry shampoo, all that kind of stuff. I've never tried their stuff, but uh, I have some shampoo and conditioner samples. Is it called the Hot Girls? Hot girls, Mia. Okay, great. Just what I want on my shampoo, hot girls. I'm not really a fan of sample packets that are like this because once you tear it and like use some of it, you have to either put it in a plastic bag or like you forget and the rest dries out and then it goes bad and like, I'd just rather not deal with it. <laughs> I have a shampoo and a conditioner that I really like, so I would much rather have a perfume sample, Sephora, but instead you're giving me shampoo samples. I'm getting too riled up about this. It's really not that big of a deal, but I'm just saying. Let's dive into the actual products this month. First, we have the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Waterproof Black Pencil. I'm sure this is fine, but I have stated this in previous videos as well. I don't really use pencil eyeliners for anything. I either use a liquid liner or just like a powder if I'm not going for like a full glam look. I just feel like pencils are too hard to control or they always smudge on me and I just never trust them, you know? <laughs> and I do get a lot of these mini black eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, eyeliner pencils in my subscription boxes and I'm not sure why and I don't know what to do with all of them because they are all the same to me. On this package there are like a ton of different color options and it would have been fun if they gave me like a color I normally wouldn't try, but they gave me black. It does feel really nice and it is very black, like it's pretty smooth, but I just, I really don't use stuff like this. I could put it in my waterline. It is waterproof, but I just feel like that is such a harsh, dramatic look that I don't normally go for. You know what I mean? Next up, ooh, we have the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. Mine is in the shade Amulet. I'm trying to get it out of this packaging. I like it. It is similar to a lot of shades that I already have. Um, it's almost like a dark rose, but it does have like a reddish tint to it too. I don't know, you can't, like it kind of looks like what I'm wearing right now. You can't really tell what it looks like until you put it on your lips, but I will try it and I love liquid lipsticks. So this will be a good one. Next up, oh my gosh, I've gotten this before. This is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm and it is this like really pretty mint green color and it smells like mint or like really refreshing. I like this a lot. I can't remember if I got this in a Sephora play or an Ipsy, but I very much remember getting this and like I still own it somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> it is a really nice cream. It's very, very moisturizing and so cooling on your skin. Like, oh my gosh, over the summer, if it's really hot or now, like for some reason it's still hot in the fall and I'm not sure why, but if you put this on, it just instantly cools you down. It's really nice actually. So I didn't necessarily need another one of these, but I'm kind of okay with having another one of these. Next step, we have the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I did actually try this already. I was really curious about it. When Benefit came out with all of their brow products, I, I think they're really cool and like really unique and groundbreaking and all of that. But I just never tried any because I have one way that I do my brows and I don't change it because I'm afraid if I change it, things are gonna go pretty downhill. So the Gimme Brow is basically like, it looks like a little 
bitty tiny mascara and there's fibers in here and it's like a little bit of a tinted brow gel and you just run it through your brows. When I first tried this, it was just like a normal casual day. I had forgotten my eyebrow palette here in my apartment and I was currently home and then I got this in my Sephora Play and I thought I would try it out. But I need like a powder to fill in my brows because I have a lot of like bald spots and especially towards the tail. I think I like over plucked one too many times in my lifetime and now they just don't grow back. So I need to fill them in with powder otherwise they look really strange and patchy. So when I just put this on it wasn't enough color. It was just like a really lightly tinted brow gel and that wasn't what I was going for. I'm sure it would be a nice brow gel just to like put on top of my eyebrows right now to keep them in place all day. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's not the product that I thought it would be. I'm sure for some people it works really well, but just not for my personal eyebrows. And the last thing in my bag this month is the Allergenist recharging night pressed serum. Ooh, it almost smells like cinnamon. And it's kind of strange because you think serum, it's like goopy and liquidy, but it's not, like it's kind of a solid. Ooh, but then you rub your finger in it and it's really soft. I'm not sure what this does. It just says it's a recharging serum. Let me check my cheat sheet. Okay, so it's smooth and visually refines dull, uneven complexions. That makes sense. It is, it's like a solid. So when you rub it into your skin, I'm sure it'll like fill in all of your fine lines and pores and stuff and just like recharge your skin overnight. Yeah, I'll probably try it and see what the, what the buzz is about. And that is, has this hair been here the whole time? I'm sorry, did you have to look at that? I'm really sorry. And that is everything in my Sephora play bag this month. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave some comments down below and make sure you're subscribed so you see when I post new videos. I'm thinking of doing something pretty exciting in the month of October for the whole month. Like every day. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, I'm gonna let you get on with your day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!